Welcome to Franchise Empires. Steve, I'd love to start with, you know, just learning about what were you working on prior to Sandbox VR and how did that eventually like lead to the idea to get into Sandbox VR? Yeah, so before I started Sandbox VR, I bootstrapped a PC mobile gaming company to about 40 people where we built games online. You can easily download it in your laptop or play it on your phone. And for a time, that did pretty well for us. But the transition to the mobile industry, which is extremely competitive, made it very difficult to sustain as a business. So it was actually because that bootstrap company wasn't doing well, and we were like making games that were not making money, that I was looking to what other platform we could look into. And at that time, it was about 2015, and VR just blew up. Facebook recently bought Oculus, and all of a sudden, we have this potential commercial device that could be in everyone's home. So that's pretty much kind of kickstart the Sandbox VR company. That's fascinating. So the Oculus specifically seemed to be like a turning point in just how you were viewing, you know, building a gaming company. That was the initial vision. And it was very exciting because, you know, all through our life, we interface with any type of digital medium through like a 2D flat screen. So VR was like the first time you can actually live inside a digital world. And for us, it's like, wow, you have this blank canvas on how you can create games. So the first thing we did was actually, can we bring these games into the headset that people can play at home? But soon we kind of realized there's a lot of limitations. And through like iterations, we realized that the best way to create like a very immersive experience, especially for multiplayer, was something you can do outside of home. And there's two big reasons. One, there's a technology gap, but also because people's homes are really small to play in a shared space. So we realized it's only scalable if we were to build retail stores. That makes total sense. Yeah, I remember seeing someone with, I don't know if it was the Oculus or a different VR headset, but you know they were trying to do it in, in a tightly confined New York City apartment. And it just... It was borderline dangerous, potentially running into couches and tables and whatnot in the apartment. 